Today, we're diving into a really exciting update on bill pay, which is now available in QuickBooks Online Accountant. And we'll be joined by ProAdvisor correspondents, Dan Luthi and Carla Caldwell. Hey, Pro Advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the deal. BillPay launched in September of 2023 for Intuit's direct customers with three plans. That's basic, premium, and elite. This was really exciting, but there was a rub. You haven't been able to sign up your accountant billed clients to QuickBooks BillPay. So we set about to change that. As of early April, you can now add QuickBooks bill pay to your accountant billed clients through QuickBooks Online Accountant. And they get preferred pricing. Accountant billed clients get 30% off their subscriptions plus 15% off per transaction with ProAdvisor preferred pricing. For direct billed clients, there isn't preferred pricing, but you can always recommend a bill pay plan to help them run their business more smoothly. And now for the fast facts. BillPay is available to all users who subscribe to the service. You can access it through visiting the subscription and billing page in QuickBooks Online Accountant. BillPay through QuickBooks Online Accountant is available today in the US only. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So with that said, it's my pleasure to welcome Jorge to the show. Jorge, welcome. Do you mind showing us around BillPay? Awesome. Thanks, Jacqueline, for inviting me. I am really excited to be here today. Uh, my name is Jorge Cardenas. I'm a marketing manager here at Intuit. BillPay is our own integrated streamlined solution within QuickBooks for customers and accountants to pay bills all in one place. You can do everything from managing vendors, paying bills, uh, doing batch and bulk payments to setting controls, uh, roles and permissions. So you can ensure that the right person is seeing the right things within QuickBooks, both people from your client side as well as firm members aren't able to pay bills when they shouldn't be. Now, I'll run through the different ways to sign up. Just simply go onto the subscription and billing page. So these are existing customers. Select your client and add bill pay. When you click on add bill pay, you'll see a screen that provides some information. But if you wanna know more about the different plans and options, you can click on learn more about bill pay and see it there. Then you can send an email to your client. They will receive an email from you. So if I'm the accountant, it will say, Jorge's accounting firm wants you to sign up for QuickBooks bill pay. Please start adding in your information here. If your customer or your client clicks on this link, there they'll fill in this kind of information, which includes EIN information, as well as other business information in here. And once they complete this form and submit and are approved, then you and your client will receive an email letting you know that they've been approved and they're ready to continue the subscription process. It is now on you to click on subscribe there, you'll take you back into QuickBooks Online Accountant, where you can select one of the three tiers to subscribe to, enter your own payment information, and click subscribe. And now they're ready to start going. Both you and they will receive an email, let them know that they're subscribed to QuickBooks Bill Pay, and you can start scheduling bills as early as today. Uh, I hope you all had a great time. Jacqueline, thank you for the time today. I found it really amazing, um, and I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jorge. Thanks for being on the show. And we're so excited to offer bill pay and to reward pro advisors who manage this offering for their clients. Let's take it now to pro advisors, Carla Caldwell and Dan Luthi for them to weigh in. Dan, Carla, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. We are talking about updates to bill pay in QuickBooks Online Accountant. So Dan, I know that you in particular have been on the edge of your seat for this one. So can you tell the audience, why is this such a big deal? Yeah, definitely. Intuit has one of the largest uh, connected networks um, out of all softwares that really exist. So it's kind of one of those things that it creates a really awesome opportunity to be able to link customers and vendors together very easily through that network system. So I'm really excited about that just to start with because we'll be able to actually get more valid information directly from each of the vendors and allow for us to be able to make faster payments, which will be really convenient too. Faster payments sounds good. Valid information is definitely good, yes. <laughs> 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 so Carla, you recently taught bill pay in this year's recertification program. What are some of those big takeaways that pro advisors should be aware of? 
Well, I love that we can recommend this to our clients and kind of kick off the process and tell the client, hey, we really think you should be using this. It allows us to be more proactive, which I think is something that we should definitely be doing as their accounting professional. I also love the fact that we can pass on a discount if we're going to be doing the accountant build and so on. So I think all of those things really help a lot. But I like that we are in one application looking at bill pay, helping our clients. We're seeing the same things they are. And, and I think that just makes a much better experience, not only for the client and the accountant, but also for our relationship with our clients, I think makes it a whole lot easier as well. So I'd love to unpack that point you made of having everything all in one place just helps create those efficiencies and ultimately better client communication. What was life like before you had everything in one place when you had to go to two different places for bill pay? Well, we, first of all, other systems, sometimes you had to pay for per user. So it just, it just is much more seamless and we can just log in, get to what we need to get to and see the information right there, clicking through it all. And then we don't have to even worry as much about this is a separate application. We need a separate thing to log into that for our own team, as well as, you know, our clients. Once we give our team member access to a client's books, they have access to the bill pay as well at the same time. So it just, makes it a whole lot easier for us to really log in there and get to the information that we need. And the same thing for the client. They don't have to have extra, the, the, the less passwords our clients need, the better for everybody. So all in one place, much better for them too. I think along with that too, the the part that I'm really eager to dive into more with my customers is the fact that there actually is multiple rules that you can set up for accesses. So you can set up approvals, you can make sure that people are seeing specific things. And so that's another feature that's a lot, that's really convenient as a part of this as well too, is you don't have to have two or three different systems in order to be able to create rules to get not send notifications to someone who has to prove it before the payment's made. Whereas historically, that's not been the case and some of the other uh, bill pay solutions that were embedded into, into QuickBooks. And so this really takes a big leap forward in, in making that process a lot more fluid um, and making sure that the customer feels like they're confident in, in getting approvals before things go out of, out of their bank account. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so speaking about your clients, Dan, help me understand how with bill pay and accounts payable by extension, do you offer, does your firm offer accounts payable services to all of your clients or to some of your clients? And then what does that look like to offer accounts payable as a service? Yeah, definitely. So so we do offer accounts payable as an option for all of our clients to add to their package that they, they get with us. Not everybody opts into it. Um, we have about, we service about 200 small businesses and a little over 50% of them actually have us facilitate AP for them in some way, shape or form. Uh, and so for us, putting it all in one system uh, is going to allow us to be able to cut down on a whole bunch of extra inboxes. It's going to allow us to be able to have receipts and bills go to the same place. So it's a little bit easier to match it to bank transactions. Plus also to be able to make sure that bills are paid on time and that the client doesn't have to go to three different systems in order to be able to look at what outstanding bills are and things of that nature. Um, the part that I really am probably the most excited about is it gives the opportunity for us to have consistent conversations with our clients, utilizing a single platform and training instead of having to teach on multiple different tools. Um, this is going to help them to feel more comfortable in the conversations and, and honestly, probably less ignore the notifications that they're getting into their inbox because they're not sure who it's coming from or what tool that they're being shared with now that's different than what they were used to. Yeah, I really like that. And and you're right about the separation of duties, right? That's something we get taught when we go to accounting school and we're actually doing it in, in QuickBooks with this. So I think that is gonna be yeah. really great for our clients. But yeah, that that single platform is, is really gonna make a big difference in, in our conversations with clients. What So when it comes to having all of that data in one place, you have more visibility into their accounts payable, that helps create efficiencies, but how does this help to you up for deeper, richer advisory conversations when you have that view into their accounts payable? Yeah, one of the things that you that uh, runs into being a problem for people that use alternative AP solutions and things like that outside of QuickBooks is the timing is not always very transparent. 
on when bills are scheduled to go out and how that's affecting your accounts payable and different things like that. And so this is that's one of the going to be one of the big features when it comes to us talking with our clients about cash flow and, and having deeper discussions with them around those is you're because we're actually using ACH as a primary option instead of potentially using checks and things like that, you can control the cash flow a lot better and you can start helping your clients be better prepared about knowing where their money is at all times instead of waiting for checks to clear in a week or two or things like that. Uh, so that advisory conversation around cash flow forecasting, around projections and things of that nature, um, it's going to be a lot more, uh, we're going to feel a lot more confident about where those numbers are pointed to because you're going to be able to see all that stuff a little bit more transparently. And I also like the idea of not having to integrate another system in for something as fundamental as accounts payable. It, there's no clearing accounts and issues that come through and duplicate vendors because you're in the system that's keeping up with all of that information. So cleaner data is also going to allow us to have better conversations as well. So I really like that idea. Um, also not having the additional integration um, is going to be a big plus for our clients too and for our team because it's frustrating to, to deal with that. Well, I absolutely love to hear that having bill paying QuickBooks Online account makes your life easier, makes your client lives easier, and that it all grows with you. So Carla, Dan, thanks so much for hanging out on the show and sharing your amazing insights as per usual. We will catch you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.